Welcome to my new video on how to calculate volume of isolated footing or say sloped footing. To learn how to calculate volume of sloped footing on site keep watching this video. For more videos please subscribe my channel Civil Engineering Basics. Let's start. Fresh engineers who did not know much about site have not see this sloped footing so question of. What is isolated footing slash sloped footing, will suffer him lot and how to calculate the quantity of isolated footing or sloped footing also comes in mind. So, this video helps you to calculate volume of isolated footing easily. First of all you need to know the structure of isolated footing. Here in picture you can see that isolated footing is made from rectangular cuboid and truncated pyramid. You know that rectangular cuboid has three dimensional unit is its length, width and depth of course. But the truncated pyramid is new for you. Truncated pyramid also has three dimensional unit, it is such that having two rectangles of different size at such different in one plane and line can connects all four sides of both rectangle. This makes truncated pyramid which you can easily understand in this picture. This picture shows the isometric view of isolated footing or say sloped footing. Now after understand what is isolated footing let's see this picture showing plan and side view of sloped footing. From top view you can only find out the length and width of rectangular cuboid portion of sloped footing and also length and width of truncated pyramid of sloped footing. For depth of footing you have to see the side view of the footing. In this sample sloped footing, all dimensions are given in millimeter. Base of footing is 4000 millimeter wide and its length is 4000 millimeter. Top portion of footing which is truncated pyramid is 1200 mm by 1200 mm. Now see side view, in side view depth of rectangular portion easily can watchable it is 500 mm, and vertical depth of pyramid is 1200 mm. So, we have all the dimensions that we need to calculate the volume of sloped footing. Now let's calculate volume of this sloped footing by using formula. Now first let's calculate volume of rectangular cuboid portion. The equation for volume of rectangular cuboid is multiplication of its length, width and depth. Here you can see that the length is 4000 mm means 4 meter. Width is also 4 meter and depth is 500 millimeter means 0.5 meter. By multiplying this three dimensions we get 8 cubic meter volume of rectangular cuboid portion. Now let's see the formula for volume of truncated pyramid. As you can see below volume of truncated part is equal to height by 3, into bracket area of top rectangle portion, plus, area of bottom rectangle portion, plus, under root, area 1 plus area 2. Bracket close. So we have all the dimension to find out volume of truncated pyramid. Let's find the volume of truncated pyramid portion. Now let's find area A1, area A2 and height. A1 is area of top rectangular. Length of top rectangular portion is 1200 mm means 1.2 meter and width of top rectangular portion is 1200 mm means 1.2 meter. So area of A1 is equals to 1.2 meter into 1.2 meter equals to 1.44 square meter. Now let's find area A2. A2 is area of bottom rectangular. Length of bottom rectangular portion is 4000 mm means 4.0 meter and width of bottom rectangular portion is 4000 mm means 4.0 meter. So area of A2 is equals to 4 meter into 4 meter equals to 16 square meter. 
height h of truncated pyramid can easily identifiable in drawing it is 1200 mm means 1.2 meter. Now let's put all the value of area 1, area 2, and height, into equation for volume of truncated pyramid. Finally by putting all the values and solving it volume of truncated pyramid found out is 8.644 cubic meter. Now we have volume of rectangle cuboid and truncated pyramid. By adding this to volume we can get total volume of sloped footing. Here volume of rectangle cuboid is 8 cubic meter and volume of truncated pyramid is 29.098 cubic meter. By adding this to volume final volume of sloped footing is 37.098 cubic meter. That's how you can find volume of any type of sloped footing. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics